the series of political scandals in Virginia has reached another top official. The state Senate's Republican leader acknowledges he was managing editor of a 1968 college yearbook that included racist photos and slurs. Virginia's three top elected officials still face calls to resign over their past behavior. Ed O'Keefe is at the Capitol building in Richmond with more on this ever-changing, ever-growing story. Ed, good morning to you. Good morning, Gail. Today it starts with Governor Northam, who has finally reached out to the two men behind him in the line of succession. We're told that his phone call with the Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax was very affable. I have never been in blackface. House of Delegate Speaker Kirk Cox, the third in line to lead Virginia, responded to questions from reporters Thursday after the about face, about blackface, by the governor and attorney general and a sexual assault allegation that's consumed the state's second in command. It's been very disturbing, no question about that. Cox, a Republican, would become governor if Ralph Northam and the next two in line of succession, all Democrats, resigned. But so far, there's no indication anyone's leaving. Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax, facing a 2004 sexual assault allegation he denies, remained in front of the state Senate Thursday. Attorney General, did you talk to the governor today? Good, everyone. Good evening, everyone. And Virginia Attorney General Mark Herring wouldn't comment last night on his admitted experience wearing blackface while Governor Northam well, good afternoon. has not appeared in public since a controversial press conference on Saturday. I was not aware of it. And now a fourth elected official, Tommy Norman, the top Republican in Virginia State Senate and managing editor of his 1968 senior yearbook at Virginia Military Institute, denied he knew anything about these photos of students in blackface or racial slurs, including the N-word that appear in the yearbook. You can go through that yearbook and you won't find one racial slur attributed to me. You won't find any photograph that I am in that is disrespectful. Last night, Virginia's Legislative Black Caucus and Congressional delegation called on Governor Northam to resign. But in separate statements, they stopped short of saying the same about the Lieutenant Governor and Attorney General, saying that they will continue to reserve judgment and wait and see how this all plays out. Nora. All right, Ed, thank you.